Hello, Internet! Praise be to God, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda 2, Adventure of Link. So, as you can see, I did not start this episode just from the default starting spot, because then you would have to watch me go through all that cave again, which is just boring. So instead today, we're going to have some exciting times. I decided, instead of going back to Swamp Palace, which is Dungeon 2, I'm going back to Death Mountain, because I am pretty confident that I can beat it now. I have uh, all three lives with me still. I have level 2 magic, level 3 life, and I'm not saving up for exclusively attack anymore, so I will level up at least a few times in Death Mountain, hopefully. So, it should be pretty easy. Get out of here, Fishbones. We don't want you. Unfortunately, this means going back to Saria, walking all this way. Actually, this is pretty good, because now I can refill my life and magic here. Ho ho ho. Oh, I just realized, I don't think I ever got the magic spell here. Not you, you. Oh, that was, that was, <laughs> that was, that was an enemy. Oh, you found my mirror, follow me. You remember the mirror I felt, uh, found last episode? I totally forgot to give it to her. And this will let us, uh, because I gave her back her mirror, she let me into her house where I can visit her secret uh, basement. Where her grandpa's waiting. Use this magic to restore your life. Oh, I get the life spell here? I totally forgot! Well, that would have been helpful! Yeah, life is um the single most useful spell in the game. It refills three bars of your HP. Takes a good amount of magic. Oh my... Oh, wow, I am such an idiot. I c might have been able to beat Death Mountain last episode if I had gotten that. Oh well. I totally forgot. It slipped my mind, because I picked up the mirror and, now, and I was like, oh yeah... Gotta go deliver that mirror to the place, and then I saw, I think it was like the uh, life-fulfilling lady or something, and I'm like, oh yeah! Actually, I think you had to go back a screen, that's mainly what. Like, you get the mirror, you have to go backwards in the village in order to give it to the right person. And it just totally slipped my mind. Hey dude, I know Begu, please let me cross the bridge. So yeah, the life spell, once you get that, the game... Well, it doesn't immediately get easier, because you have to do Death Mountain next, but... <laughs> the life spell makes the game quite a bit more manageable. Because in the past, the only way to refill HP was to get a level up and level up your life. That was the only way. And, or to go to a village. But now, we actually have a magic spell that can do that for us. And because magic jars drop... Like so... We can actually refill that and refill our life more than once. And because of my powerful sword, I should be able to beat the Gorax more easily now. I am so sorry if I am not if that's not even the right name. I call them Gorax. That seems like the kind of thing that would be in a Zelda uh, an early Zelda game. Zoop. I can kill Garayas in two hits, which is pretty exciting. So now, with my newfound abilities, I can just plow through Death Mountain pretty quickly, thanks to my Super Sword. Out of here, Keys. You might be asking, why aren't you going up? Oh my gosh, Gorax die in two hits. That is amazing. So now I'm basically just going to level up things as quick as possible. The reason I'm not going up the elevator is because that just takes you to a different part of the maze, which is not the place I even want to go. So remember, the, the life spell heal, fills three bars of your life, regardless of how high a level your life is at. Also, that refills all of your magic bars, I think all of your max magic bars, and as it's filling up, you can cast a spell like life. Oh, shoot. Never mind. No, it doesn't. Oh, no! Avoid those axes. I should not have casted life there. That's my bad. But proof of concept. Come here, Gorak. I know you're up here. Level 5 Sword kills Gorax in two hits, which is incredibly useful. It does not kill Red Gorax in two hits, but Orange ones. And 
And that's why I was so focused on leveling up my attack, just to make Gorax a bit easier. Oh, yes, please. I could level up life again. Yes, I would love to level up life again. So now I am a pretty darn good level. Aside from magic, I've leveled up everything at least four times. So, actually, I have gotten exactly half of the level ups in the game. Actually, no, but less than that, because you start at level... Ugh, get back here. Perfect. Alright, time to finally get the hammer. Hopefully. Shield, and now, as you can see, shield takes much less uh, magic to actually use. Oh, Red, Gora Red Gorax actually go down into uh, free hits. That's pretty nice. Yeah, the shield spell, instead of taking two bars of HP, only takes like a bar and a half, because I've leveled up my magic. Ouch. You came down way faster than I thought you would. Meow. It's the bearded cats. They're back for more. Oh, wow. Thank you for all these magic jar drops. This is really nice. Alright. I believe there's something good... I can't remember if there's something good going this way or if there's absolutely nothing going this way. There's nothing except a juicy, juicy experience. Oh, and a magic bottle. That'll, that'll help. And I have still- I don't think- I don't- haven't even died in Death Mountain yet, and I'm about to get to the end. Five attack and proficiency at the game, it's very useful for that. Oh. Um, okay, that happened. <laughs> I guess if he gets to the very edge of the screen, he can fall down an invisible bottomless pit. Good to know. That thing we can't actually hit, so avoid that. And it can hurt you. And knock you in the lava, giving you an instant death. Come on. Link's just taking these axe hits like a boss. Oh, this is bad. Ah. He just chucks those axes like there's no tomorrow, and he keeps backing up, too, which is very different from the orange go gore axe. I guess jumping over his axes is much better than crouching under it. Ooh-hoo, thank you for that. And now we get the hammer. We can now destroy rocks that are in the overworld. Which now gives us the shortcut down to the swamp area without having to travel through that really long jump cavern. And of course we get access to a bunch of other stuff in the overworld now. Get out of here. Fall off a cliff, thank you. Ah! That is a cheap enemy spawn! <laughs> Ooh, I can level up magic, or I can hold out for life. Because I have the life spell, I'm gonna level up magic. Because leveling up magic, it's kind of like leveling up your life. Alright. Actually, no. I went down the elevator. Let's go down to the left now. Hi, you. Oh, okay, Red Gorax, as long as you jump over the axes and you've cornered them, are actually pretty easy. The more you know. Yeah, as you can see, Death Mountains is just a giant labyrinth, and the main prize is the hammer. But there's also another really important prize to get. You remember that there was the rock right next to the pit where we fell to get the hammer? We're going to want to destroy that rock and fall down that pit, because there's something incredibly useful down there. Take that. Thankfully, keys have larger hitboxes than it looks like. And by that I mean you can stab the, that hitbox. Alright, if you press jump on the overworld, you can destroy rocks. 
And sometimes you land on tiles and it just falls, you, you fall down a pit even though it doesn't look like it's there. And we get our second magic container. There are four heart containers and four magic containers in the game. You want them all. Wait, no, I, I didn't want to do that. Thankfully, there are no enemies down here. Alright. I've kind of had enough of Death Mountain. Also, an important thing to note, you can destroy forests with the hammer. You do need to know that for one part of the game. Hi. Also, this is an interesting cave. Let's go through here. That was unnecessarily risky on my part. Oh! And that's how Octorox can kill you. Don't do that. Very long pathway, but this leads to an interesting cave. This is gonna be a long bridge to walk, isn't it? Oh no, blue moblins. Again, just keep level with the spear and everything will be fine. And because I got that extra bar of magic, I can now use life more frequently. Ah, oh, man, those bubbles. Oh, hi. I never thought I'd see the day where I could pretty effortlessly defeat Red Gorax. That is much harder than I made it look. Oh, yay! We're on this side of the map. This is close to another town. Past that rock. Yeah, move it. Also, if you go... Uh, if you get an enemy encounter on a square where a rock used to be, that counts as desert. Those sand centipedes are interesting. You gotta hit them to make them lower, then hit them in the face. Or what, whatever they consider to have, be a face. We can also destroy that rock. And every time you destroy a rock, next time you play, you're gonna have to destroy it again. That's just the way it works. But let's go in this cavern, because there's a very nice prize in this cavern. Yuck. And it's not me taking a hit. Life, please. It's a heart container. We now have two magic containers and two heart containers. Everything's at at least level four. I'm feeling good. But I'm going to feel even better when we go to the next village. Because holy cow, there are two great prizes in that village. Two. That's right. And then I'm going to return to Swamp Palace. Yep, the town right here. We'll go inside. It's the harbor town of Meadow. Meadow was not a sage, but he was in Ocarina of Time. Please let me help you. I don't need any help, lady. Hey, dude, what's up? Ask Error of Ruto about the palace. So if you go back to Error, he'll be like, Oh yeah, go south from the King's Tomb. I already knew that, though, so I don't need to go back. The Island Palace in the south has a raft. Thank you. I forgot how useful these guys, villagers are. Alright, we're gonna use the jump spell. Thankfully, we had enough magic left. Go up here and enter. This has the best move in the game. Well, second best after life. Hey, dude. What's up? When you jump, press downward to stab. So this is one of two new sword moves you can learn in the game. So now if we press down while we're in the air, we can do a down stab. This is incredibly useful. And I'm going to be using this all the time now. <laughs> yeah. 
and I come out of the lower part of the house. Okay. Hey, lady. And at this point, most of the towns, I believe, will only have the magic lady, because now you have the life spell to actually refill your life. So you can just keep using the life spell, and that old lady. Hey, lady. Please, my daughter is sick. Help her. Well, I'll do what I can, but I don't have any medicine for her yet. Oh my gosh, old ladies are glitching out the town. So I can only get the downstab right now, but trust me, it's so useful. Boom. <laughs> yeah, it's incredibly useful. Do not encounter enemies in the graveyard, because all of them are incredibly annoying and steal your uh, experience. Yeah, yeah, nope, 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 no, 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 nope, nope, ain't happening. Link doll there, remember that. And again, can't emphasize it enough, don't pick those up yet. You will sorely regret it if you do. Aww. I was a little too hasty there, that's okay. So I'm not really sure where to find medicine. So I'm, I'm going back to that swamp palace. Wow, no enemy spawns. That's weird. There we go. Now, yeah, full life and full magic together, and I can't remember how much lives I have for that matter. How much lives? <laughs> how I do. Now that we have the downstab, these unicorn heads are a bit easier to deal with. <laughs> and that's not even as easy as it usually is. Sometimes you can get it so that you just don't even have to keep pressing the A button, you can just be like, pop, 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 pop. And those guys actually give you experience, which is nice. Okay, wait for these bots to jump off that. Don't even try jumping on that if there are bots on it. Another key, thank you. Oh, that was risky. I should have waited for that bot. Also, wait for a gap in the drips. I hope this is the way to the dungeon item and not to the boss. I don't think it's not the way to the boss. The boss is always to the right, pretty much. Okay, I can level up life, but again, I'm saving for the attack level up at the end of the dungeon. Bubbles are also easier to deal with with the downstab, where you can just downstab them to get past them. Like so. The downstab is just, just so good. Oh, I think I went the wrong way. And by that I mean, I'm pretty sure this is the way to the boss. Not this way in particular, but I've now reached a part of the dungeon where I believe the boss resides. Ouch. Falling blocks from the ceiling, that's not fun. Also, the downstab will make this boss much easier. Hi, that's a red iron knuckle. They are even tougher than regular iron knuckles. And oh shoot! I don't even have a key. That just stinks, don't it? Yeah, I'm not tackling two red iron knuckles if I don't even have the key. That's only worth 50 gold, too. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Gotta use jump to get out of there. 
Those blocks fell in, like, the worst way possible. Alright, well, keep moving forward. Take that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if you keep going down, that leads to the boss. Yeah, definitely. Well, shoot. If only it was all as simple as the first dungeon. It... The fact that there's no map system in this makes the dungeons really confusing. And they just get more and more confusing as the game goes on. <laughs> Basically, when in doubt, downstab it. <laughs> Downstabbing works wonders. Oh, that was incredibly risky. Okay, I'm pretty sure I only have one life left, which is not ideal. No, 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 I can't die. I'm young and invincible. I'm young and invincible! I'm not young and invincible. Okay, no, we're not ending like this. And I'm really annoyed, because I had just close to enough experience for a level up. Oh yeah, well, Ganon, return from this. <laughs> One cool thing is if you just keep walking right at the beginning, it'll like, oh, the enemies will like always run away from you. Until you reach this area. But man, that hammer shortcut is super nice. Hi! <laughs> Downstab for the win. That's not ideal. Big enemies are rarely ideal. Welcome to the palace. It's the palace, the palace, and you'll be here a while. Yeah, I need to go down to the very bottom of this side of the palace. I thought the boss would be down here, but I guess that was naive of me to think. Oh, hey, it's a Wookiee! Mm, Two-hit kill. Take that, Chewbacca. If only I had gotten that key before going over there, then this would have been a very different story. Oh well. Onward and upward. The real challenge is going to be getting enough experience to go past the first two level ups so I have enough so I can use the free level up to get the attack. Because if I were to put the crystal in right now, it would only give me enough experience to reach 800. It wouldn't give me, like, 3,000 to get the attack level up. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Come at me, bro. It's just a prank, bro. Okay. Downstab doesn't work on the Stalfoses very well, nor does it really work on Iron Knuckles. The only way it works on these guys, those guys is if you, like, clip into them. Yeah, that's the way you want to deal with the unicorn heads. Take that. Oh, thank you. I happily accept magic bottles now. Unless I have full magic, in which case, guess what? I probably want a pea bag instead. I also realized that if I'd found the medicine and gotten the next special move, I could have gotten past that key door. Thanks to a glitch.
Can you give me a free red bottle, please? No. <gasps> I love you! Alright, one of these rooms is the double red iron knuckle room. Ouch! I think it's this one? Yes, it is. So the red iron knuckles, not only do they have more HP and are more powerful, but they're also much better with the shield than the orange ones are. Come on. There we go. If he hits you when you're right next to him, you might as well do the downstab through him. And we get the handy glove! The handy glove will allow us to destroy certain blocks with our sword. Which is both great, and also can be extremely annoying if so, so those blocks are the only thing that are holding you above a pit of lava. In which case, you don't really want to downstab, if that's the case. These are the blocks you can now destroy with your sword. The ones that are slightly cracked. He basically just got the power glove, which is the like that one NES adapter that nobody used. Oh, okay, that's a Poe. They drop fire on you, are very hard to hit, and oh yeah, they steal your experience points if they touch you. <laughs> like pretty much everything in this game. Oh, come on! I thought that was... you were stabbing upwards. I need more experience. They make sure you have the handy glove before you they let you leave the dungeon. Ouch. It was bad enough when those fiends spat fireballs in the original Zelda. Oh, that is exactly what I needed. Now, if I encounter the boss, I'm going to have to get out. Stupid fireball. Ah! So hard to get through that. You know what? <laughs> have to do it. <laughs> it's much easier to kill bubbles once you get the down stab. Actually, that didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. Alright, bubble. No! That stupid second bubble! Oh, yeah. I suppose I could just grind on these guys. This time I'm killing this guy. Oh, shoot. I was moving too fast. You can't be moving, though. That's the thing. If you want to trap them in place, can't be moving when you jump on their heads. Bubbles and bots are so annoying. Bots should not be this annoying, but they really, really are. Because they only exist to make you get killed by other enemies. I guess that works. Come on. Those two freaking bubbles are just perfectly lined up so that I can't really kill one without angering the wrath of the other. Thank you. Ouch! You are so going to die. You're gonna die, and you're gonna die. Come on. Yes, please. Yes, please! Yes! Last. <gasps> I 
Actually, I don't even know why I went out of my way to grab that, since I now have enough to get the free level up. Oh, I think those... The, the orange guys coming at me, I think those are the Dark Nuts, technically. Hey, Wookie. Wait for an opening. Okay, wait for him to jump. That's when you get the opening. And the, the bubbles hit me so much, I can't even use life now. Thankfully, I have an extra life. Out of here, bubbles. I don't want any of your bull. Alright, this way to the boss, who, thankfully, with the downstab, is very easy. And it's not Chewbacca. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on that power bag. Because, again, I have no use for it, because I'm gonna get a free level up anyways. Oh, hi. Um, I'm just gonna bypass you, I think. <laughs> Downstab for the win. Alright. Get out of my way. No! This is my last life. Hmm. So that's how you want to play, eh? That's how you want to play? You want to play Let's Screw with Artie's Life? Well, that's a game you will not win. Because I already know what's beyond this dungeon, and it is much worse than you. Yeah, that's right. You walk off a cliff like a loo. Alright, shield time. Welcome to the second boss, Helmet Head. With the downstab, you can just downstab him over and over again. Until his helmets go off, and yeah. <laughs> his helmets come off and spit fireballs at you, but if you have downstab, it's quite easy. Free attack level up, please! Uh, I only have two attack level ups left to get. That's pretty amazing. Well then, I think that that's a good place where we can end the episode off today. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time. We will be finding some medicine for that lady in the village, and we'll be taking on the Furred Palace. Hope to see you there. Until then, have a great day, and God bless, and don't let the Octoroks get you down. Oh, oh, oh.